Good. So, I didn't get a chance to talk to you at the USC's Media Day. Last year when we talked, you were real big about accountability. What did you see during the offseason on the film that brings you back to, you know what, we need to do, this is what we need to do this year to prevent what happens last year. Yeah, just making sure all 11 are on the same page, communication, uh, urgency, a sense of urgency about us. I thought at the times last season we weren't urgent enough in the back end and, and just all over the place communicating wise. And I think I think this camp and this offseason we really emphasize communication and just making sure we're all on the same page. Was, was there a trust issue last year? Coach Grinch talked about this. At media day that maybe you guys weren't fully trusting everything and maybe going out on your own trying to make a play as opposed to just doing what's been told to No, I mean we, we trust everything these coaches put in, you know, fully. There's no no trust issues. We trust each other to make the play. It's just just we just sometimes like I just said we weren't on the same page. And then just what are your takeaways from this first week of camp in terms of kind of what you wanted the defense to look like and, and what it's actually looked like so far. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a really good start. Meeting my expectations, uh, and we're flying around as a unit, really talking. It's uh, Compared to this time last year, I think we're miles ahead, just really trusting each other, just really, really going out there and communicating and kind of playing free and letting it fly. Do you have any thoughts on the freshman Christian Pierce? Him and, him and Zion, I mean, they're both, uh, both monsters. I mean, they're going to have great careers. I mean, the sky is the actual like limit for them? I mean, they they both are fantastic players. I mean, we got a lot of good young guys. It's going to be it's it's going to be good good back end for a lot of years going for sure. Who's standing out at the nickel spot at this point? I mean, every, everyone's been playing that spot. It, it's a great spot. I mean, Jay Rock is, is one of the most explosive. You know, one of the best players I've been around. I mean, you know, we got a bunch of guys just playing that spot. You know, it's, it's everyone's playing everything right now, and everyone's just doing a great job. So, that spot is one, and uh, kind of all the spots in the coverage. But dealing with bigger guys, you know, when you get tight ends or some of those larger dudes that maybe kind of made some plays on you guys last year. What are the coaching points as a DB? For dealing with a guy that big in space, like how do you how do you how do you cover that? Yeah, I mean we just have to trust the technique that uh, Coach Grinch and Dante are installing, and just and just really trust ourselves and, and be physical and, and not back down from anything. Then Coach Riley talked about you guys kind of playing with some edge and playing with some over aggression, not too worried about going too far. But as a veteran, how long does it generally take to find that line? of the, the edge that you need to play with, but not crossing the line to where flags are coming? I mean, you find it pretty quick. Um, you just, you just got to go in there. You got to let it fly and play as aggressive as you can. You know, you know when we're playing passive, it, it shows it hurts us way more than when we're playing over aggressive. So we're just trying to just play downhill and just and just set the tone. What's the biggest difference that like, you've noticed from the last year's issue? I would just say, like I said, just the sense of urgency, you know, the sense of kind of just pride in, in the defense, just taking taking pride in, in individually and as a unit. Just, just it's been something to prove, you know, something to prove. We got something to prove. You know, last year we didn't get the job done, and we, we all know that. Trust me, and we we have a serious chip on our shoulders to get the job done this year, and I believe we will. Travis Dye occupied kind of a special leadership role on the team last year. Are there any contenders that you've noticed early on for that? spot or anybody kind of unifying kind of the whole team yeah, at this point? Yeah, I mean, it's, this is, it's a great group. I mean, everyone's, you know, it's, it's a good mix between old, we got a lot of old guys, and we got a lot of really young guys. There's not too much in between, so it's, there's a lot of leaders, ton of leaders. Um, just kind of speaking on some of the new guys, like Mason Cobb, great leader. He's coming right away, no shyness to him. We're, you know, he's got a certain edge that he brought to us that we need it. And then, um, of course, EG, you know, he, Eric Gentry, he's always he's always set the tone. And, and Shane Lee, I mean, Shane Lee's the, probably the best leader I've ever been around. But, yeah, it's, it's a great group of guys, great group. And then just tell us about your game. I mean, you're a veteran guy. You're a guy we know Coach Grinch trusts, has a lot of trust in you at this point. Where do you want to get better, and what are your focal points? Yeah, I just just want to continue to just get better every day, you know, with technique-wise and just trusting myself and, and just really just going all out and no hesitation, just letting it fly out there. And Coach Grinch, is, you know, I love playing for Coach Grinch, love playing for Dante. You know, we have great coaches and really just trusting them and just doing what they tell me to do. So have you been taking it upon yourself to be more of a vocal leader out there with, with the guys? Yes, sir, definitely. You know, it, it's my fifth year. I, you know, I've, I've been in big places. You know, I've played in a lot of football you know I, I need to I need to be that kind of guy um, if I'm not I feel like I'll be letting my team down you know